the surgeons came up working with uh, the Corozal Community Hospital here, working with their surgeons, their doctors, nurses. Uh, we brought anesthesiologists, we brought surgeons, nurses, and a team to work with them to help facilitate uh, the ability to do some elective surgeries. Things that during the pandemic, uh, a lot of nations, including our own, have had a problem doing elective surgeries because they focus their health care uh, and a lot of their emergency workers and things like that towards the COVID problems. We didn't cater for the, the large number that we wanted, um, the original number, but we did cover, we have done eight surgeries up to now in these past two days, and then today we have four more scheduled. They were all open um, surgeries, called cystectomies, the commonly the gallbladder removal. No? Um, and it has all been going smooth excellent team they came here to work and they have been giving it full time so um, our staff as well has been very dedicated today's exercise you know is really important uh, in terms of medical cooperation but this is just one other example of all the great work that the u.s embassy is doing in partnership with the belizean government and belizean communities i think one of the things to stress about this exercise and everything we look to do is really have that partnership. You know, uh, today it was a Belizean surgeon taking the lead in the surgery with an American surgeon, you know, being his assistant and, you know, working together and finding those needs uh, throughout Belize and working with different government entities, civil society entities and the local communities. I think that's what we look to do to continue to strengthen the amazing partnership between the United States and Belize.